Quarter Ninja presents Hello and welcome to the Quarter Ninja's Lair where we play games and today we are playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 we are playing a playthrough and we are at the episode 15 at the moment so why these Mazdas are here because uh, in last episode if you followed it and you know that we have got another uh, Mazda on the junkyard and I love this car and as we had two I decided just to put them side by side so you can see what you can accomplish and you know how from this one you can get this one uh, so let's remove that for now send it to the parking and we are going to leave this uh, one here or no let's remove it to the parking for now and then we will think about that later because I need a little bit more space here as always uh, I hope you're all feeling great today and that you are going to enjoy this episode together with me we are going to immediately find some jobs and you see we have here one and let's see is there anything else that we can use we will talk about our uh, way how we selecting the jobs uh, later we can take this one and we will wait for more yeah I think that's it so in last episode we didn't accomplish anything special except going to level 38 so actually we have all unlocks that you can get in the game uh, until level 40 uh, as you can see everything here all skills are in and we are waiting for level 40 so we will be able to get a 15% discount in shops and uh, we will be able to get 50% uh, off to trips to junk junkyards and barns which um, actually I think I turned it off uh, they are free anyway and it's not really much a useful skill uh, uh, let's just move all these cars uh, to our lifters so we have some free space and we spoke about uh, the uh, need to maybe uh, you know not rush uh, like crazy and do all the repairs one after another because in real life you would probably not be able to do that anyway like you know if you're rushing every day two hours and doing only repairs actually you're going to get burned which is uh, not good you're going to hate game and uh, you know I did uh, push extremely hard uh, in last uh, 13 episode in 14 episode in uh, episode number 14 the last one I decided to slow it a little bit and um, I think uh, we are going to keep it that way at least for our we are going to push hard and then after that we are going maybe to do something that is fun and interesting and I would love if you tell me what do you think about that and do you think that is the right way how to do things in the meantime if you like what uh, we are doing here please um, click the like button and of course subscribe that means a ton to me and I hope it's not a too big ask for you basically just you know click on that subscribe button as you can imagine uh, English is not my first language so I'm doing my best and I hope you can understand me well if you have any questions as always just uh, drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer and you know if I have something to say I will say it okay so we are doing uh, the jobs and let's say uh, we should aim for level 40 today uh, we have full two levels to go so I'm not actually sure how fast we can go there let's buy um, V8 gearboxes um, maybe just do it like that I know exactly where these are we will buy two I'm not sure can we do that without really pushing hard for more than an hour but let's try this first hour we are going to push hard try to see where we can get and then after that we will make a decision based on number of xp and everything as always let's start uh, well, let's start with a talk about the jobs uh, that are the best and how do i see that and how i am doing it so look uh, 4000 and here below the xp counter we will see plus and some number which will tell us how many xps we have got and we have got 130 for this job perfect a nice amount of xp and nice amount of money uh, this job is ours no way that we are going to miss it and we might take even one of these which is uh, 
body job yeah i'm thinking i'm looking yes why not let's take it and then we are going to make a decision what to do later so i'm doing uh, this moving to lifter two and this one moving to lifter one and now we have three jobs uh, let's see what is this one and this one is brake system and car is loud whenever car is loud first uh, check your engine bay and see if these manifolds are not good from what i can see manifolds are okay we have one two three four no everything is below the car so let's go there and let's uh, remove it now i will work on the car and at the same time i will explain a logic uh, behind uh, how i'm thinking basically um, with repairs and everything else so from my point of view we have to make the best xp gain in any given time so basically xp per minute which is the best way to calculate you know how good or bad we are uh, the best way to earn xp is to do short jobs uh, fast jobs and simply to you know do them uh, as much as you can i'm just looking for a middle muffler let's buy five of these and we will see what is at the back uh, and this is our main goal our main goal is uh, basically to get as much xp as we can and to earn as much uh, money as we can but money is absolutely secondary in this story in this story first and foremost is xp so the best job, job uh, combined if i would go for that are the gearbox jobs when i say combined and the brake system let's go oh, i am going around the car and fixing it when i say combined it means uh, the best xp plus the best best money as always in top left corner you can see the uh, condition of the part in the bottom left corner you can see the picture and if you know the condition of the part you will see it also there uh, so okay gearbox system uh that is the number one gearbox system uh, brings uh, always nice amount of xp which can vary from i don't know 110 for example up to the 130 or so and these jobs are bringing the best money because especially if you are changing gearboxes uh, then the bonuses are very nice and uh, the money is good usually gearbox has like seven parts including the drive shaft and um, starter which on some cars you know starter you have to always remove so that is six parts and uh, on uh, some cars there is also the drive shaft which is uh, here uh, on mid-engine cars some uh, front uh, drive cars and actually porsche and stuff like that uh, let us see just what is the minimum part condition 37 so we can reuse the, the, this uh, disc here 38 um, and um, uh, these uh, numbers uh, are going up to i think four more or so up to 12 if i'm not mistaken so count on uh, maybe 12 parts in total on the most complicated uh, gearbox jobs uh, which are fairly easy to you know uh, do and they don't uh, require uh, anything much except just you know knowing where the parts are just removing them and putting them back similarly brakes what i'm doing i'm just you know disassembling brakes brakes checking the the condition and assembling them back changing what is necessary and that's about it um, so the gearbox actually is always the best it brings the best money the best xp and uh, this is kind of the job you want to go for um, the second best job uh, would be the exhaust now exhaust is interesting thing because exhaust uh, often you will get like exhaust job with one thing just one thing to fix and that will go in 30 seconds you will actually finish job in 30 seconds and this is amazing but these jobs can go anywhere you know from two parts to six parts usually and uh, the payout for gearbox jobs is uh, really bad and you actually will not earn uh, much money on the gearbox shops 37 just to be sure but the speed which you can do gearbox jobs and uh, actually efficiency uh, is i think if you look only at xp 
the best jobs are gearbox jobs from my point of view just xp wise it's always 100 100 200 5 xp something like that but you can do them sometimes so fast that, it, that it's crazy and also don't forget with gearbox jobs you are uh, getting uh, just let me check and let's see you see very very low and small a payout but i don't care about that i finish uh, order and care about 111 xp uh, so i was talking about uh, the let us check just a second and we will yeah this one we don't wait we don't want that one to go so gearbox also can be you know uh, not gearbox exhaust job also can be related with uh, the uh, exhaust uh, manifolds which are inside the engine base so always you know think about that and check them this is the body let's leave body for a bit uh, what is this one this is car is loud so uh, with Porsches you are looking at the back and then let's check the engine and where is our this is it uh, this exhaust manifold looks like it's not good so if we click on the engine um, let me see here 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 this actually I think is accessed from the bottom of the car so let's go and check it so number two as I said are exhaust jobs these are the best for the XP per minute they're the fastest usually and uh, they're not bringing much money that's the kind of only uh, not really problem with that but uh, they are actually not uh, really so uh, kind of um, filling our uh, bank uh, just let me uh, think for a moment we need to check this so uh, exhaust manifold b6c c uh, just give me a second I, I just I'm not sure you know I didn't uh, have uh, opportunity to use uh, many of these and exhaust exhaust this should be the one this is the first time I'm using, uh, actually repairing this car and uh, a rear exhaust section A964, okay, that is 964, rear exhaust section A, uh, let's go out just to see, 964 rear exhaust section A, is that the one? Should be, no, this is for RS and this is normal one. Uh, as always i am you know very pragmatic i don't care if we buy more parts than uh, we need or wrong parts all of them will be actually sold or you know installed somewhere so we don't care about that okay so let's finish this this is a kind of very short job although i have to admit as i said i didn't uh, do these things so i am not really recognizing the car but this should be it it was two minutes payout is crappy but again uh, the exhaust job is always fast now i need to push it down and just to check uh, i think everything is in and let's see how many xps mm, 103 so not uh, bad not good but not bad either exhaust job i love them i'll take them and let's keep it in the stock and go forward okay uh, what is this job uh, gearbox probably whole gearbox is gone with this one i'm immediately going to show you this is a front wheel drive and your starter is actually somewhere here you see and you have to remove it and we can see that gearbox is gone and i know that and with this one you will have to remove wheels and uh, uh, front axles uh, it's necessary and there is I think a front shaft stuff like that but still that is 30 seconds maybe more so not a big deal uh, you know if you have to remove these parts okay while I'm doing this, le uh, this uh, let's uh, talk about the jobs so I mentioned already gearbox as the best XP money maker then I mentioned as a second the best job the uh, exhaust jobs uh, they are actually probably the best uh, XP makers but money wise they are very crappy uh, third one from my point of view would be uh, the brakes and I did brakes like uh, five minutes ago you've probably seen it uh, I was doing the actually to say is that i4 I think I have one I was doing uh, it uh, very fast and the job was done in like three minutes probably uh, these job are also, uh, jobs are also good they're not bringing much money again brakes uh, bring usually a little bit more than um, exhaust 
but they take more time and XP wise they are very similar so I will, I will always recommend the exhaust job over the brake job if you can of course now with these three covered and you know brake job uh, again uh, the best way to do it from my point of view would be just to you know go uh, take uh, from this wheel uh, for example i'm doing like that front right and then a clockwise around uh, fixing all of the wheels and if some electronics is needed to be fixed like abs module or stuff i do that and that's about it if you have any idea you know how to do it better or you have uh, a more efficient way you know how things are done in a more efficient manner please let us know in the comments below I, I will appreciate it and I'm sure other players and you know people who follow this channel and these videos will appreciate it too from what I see uh, this is it you see not a big payment only 600 something but we don't care actually we needed XP and 102 XP so this was very very small payout in um, both money and uh, XP. Let's see, do we have some jobs? Uh, oh, this is big one, big one, big. No, nothing that we are going to take. Let's um, just uh, talk about the job number four. So first is gearbox, second is exhaust, third is a break, and the fourth job I would recommend is bodywork. Now, with body, when you click on the list, you have this, and I never found a way how to transfer this list meaningfully to the shop and to basically uh, easy access the list of parts except going uh, here there rushing and things like that you know trying to remember and then i started do this you heard it probably it is my mobile phone i am taking a picture of the parts i know this is a chieftain tbx so let's go uh, to the uh, chieftain tbx shop our body shop is here i think we can just do tbx and it will be perfectly fine okay and i'm reading my um, uh, photo reading things from the photo hood front left door okay there is front right door and then trunk so i don't need to bother to think i'm just reading right headlight mm, left tail light uh, you see a uh, right body window a left body window a this is the one this is the one and front right door window this should be the one now hopefully i did it properly and now i am reading the same list and removing first hood then we have a door um, let me see another door then we do have a trunk here left daylight maybe you remember a right body windows a uh, a right body window a and right body window uh, a left body window a front right door window we removed let's see anything else right headlight i think that is the last one so when we remove that we switch to assemble mode and all these um, transparent white parts are waiting to be replaced let's do it and this should be uh, as i said uh, body jobs i uh, personally think they are actually fourth on my list i would take them uh, if i don't have any of other three before uh, so that's about it. Also try to take all, always single jobs. If you see, I took all the jobs that were single in a way uh, that it's only gearbox, it's only body, it's only brakes. Uh, if you take jobs that are dual, uh, like uh, they have uh, two, uh, let me see front window just, they have uh, two different, um, no, that was not jobs to do what will happen just to see uh, we have to paint it so let's send the car to body shop to our paint shop this is the first time today and see how that does uh, that how we are doing the thing and how that is done um let's open it uh, and um, i will tell you about single and dual and triple jobs and stuff like that so paint shop set factory we are changing color painting the car minus thousand uh, units doesn't really matter uh, let's see everything is done everything is done uh, bonus is nice three four four and a half whatever uh, uh, let's see so money is good 119 xp uh, xp is good job is done that is how i'm doing it with uh, my mobile phone taking a picture of the part list and that goes uh, very fast and efficient so these are the single jobs as i call them and these are the dual jobs these are the triple jobs and things like that so here you have to change these parts these parts these parts here these and this and here only this one so i'm always aiming to take uh, the job that has only one set of parts uh, one set of problems 
because actually uh, you will get for one job uh, 100 something XP okay and if you're doing two jobs you will get 130 for example 140 and three jobs you know 170 so it's simply not worth it at all at all so I would never take them only I'm taking them only when I don't have anything else so just remember that that is when you are grinding again our manifolds are okay so I was just checking that is when you're grinding when you want to be uh, most efficient and have uh, the most XP per minute uh, other than that when you're playing the game you can freely enjoy it, take whatever job you want you know just do it for fun for whatever I do like to do suspensions engines everything so no issues there but with grinding we are doing it differently and we have a system we have to kind of follow to be able to progress through the game fast and yet again if you have a better system if you know how to better progress and what to do please let me know I will appreciate and also the other viewers on our channel so 180 dollars uh, or whatever uh, money, money you use and let's see let's see XP 102 XP so this is a job with minimum XP I'm always checking you know here always so nothing I want to take now because I don't have any job a spare job I might be tempted to take uh, this one uh, or I will just risk it and see how it goes okay so again we have this job I don't personally really like this uh, body jobs not because they are hard or anything but because I always have to take photo and then you know go buy stuff check stuff okay my photo is horrible let's uh, delete it and just uh, take it again it was out of the focus so yeah that's about it good uh, let's see this is a royal crown and we are going to the body shop and we say crown and probably we'll get royal crown yes and we have front uh, left door as first one then we have a rear left door Mm, rear left front left fender where is the left fender it should be here front bumper rear bumper left tail light this is the one right side mirror which is probably down here yes uh, rear left door window so rear left rear left this is the one and rear right door window so these are actually the parts that are uh, uh, needing change on this car uh, front left door oh that was right door okay my bad I will just return immediately the door here because I was sure that there is also right door but there was uh, not let me see what's going on something strange happened but I changed uh, the right side mirror which was okay so we removed front left door um, a rear left door so let's go here and remove the rear left uh, door the glass or the window then front left fender which is uh, this one and then what else um, front bumper rear bumper okay front bumper rear bumper a left tail light uh, do we have left tail light here uh, this is headlight we need tail light okay let's go so this is tail light not trunk one mm, uh, right side mirror we changed uh, this is the window and this uh, rear right door window I think this is all and we will check it uh, I don't like when there is as I said a big uh, pile of parts and you have to check everything I'm not sure uh, these jobs are really the greatest I personally don't uh, like the system and how it is implemented it would be amazing imagine you have that list and you just transfer that list to your shop you put order uh, in the shop and shop delivers you all the parts so you don't need to be an idiot and you know go and do one by one and I actually worked in a repair shop as a manager and I can promise you we didn't left tail light just to check sorry do we need left tail light ah, i didn't buy it so uh, i i can promise you we never went uh, you know like this to the shop we would left tail light left tail light we would actually know and uh, bring a list with us and give it to the you know the guy in the shop 
and he would uh, basically go through the list and give us all the parts that is how it is done not like this which you know i, I don't even understand uh, what's the problem i'm as i said i might be uh, uh, stupid actually and not knowing something and don't uh, I'm not maybe I don't know I don't understand how that is done but I didn't find a way and I really urge you if you know how to do it like transfer a list of the parts to shop and just buy them all please let me know not only me but I'm quite sure there are a few people who would be extremely grateful if we can give them that info so we are painting car in the factory color uh, not really the greatest color but i don't care about that everything is done again pretty nice bonus you know these uh, these jobs are bringing nice bonus and 119 again the same xp number and that's about it so i didn't take that uh, job previous one and unfortunately as you can see we do not have anything here i don't want to take any of these jobs but you know i'm tempted to do i promise that uh, as we are playing playthrough we have to go through storyline mission we didn't for a long time and last time we did one so i will immediately take this one and let's do it because i feel it is my uh, duty basically to go through storyline missions because they're integral part of the game and you should be actually maybe uh, doing them so let's uh, do it uh, change oil okay body parts and now we know that brakes are gone oh my goodness so from what i understand this car cannot even go to the yeah and this is tricky because this car as you can see when you have this list and when you know so cam gear i4 let's buy immediately one i will explain to you cam gear mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, it's it's kind of okay to do these things because um, uh, it helps a lot. Okay, so let's see. Can we somehow? Can gear should be somewhere in? Oh my goodness! Though. This all needs to be disassembled and changed. Okay, now let's do something differently. First, uh, you know, we will uh, uh, select our engine and let's use our examine tools. We will start from OBD scanner, which is a computer basically that talks with computer in the car and it finds finds uh, like things that are wrong with the car so we can immediately see a perfect amazing you see uh, that is very nice to know that the um, spark plugs are gone over everything here good next uh, thing uh, we are going to do fuel pressure test um, and see what uh, will fuel pressure test test figure for us uh, perfect uh, fuel system seems to be a very very good um, tire tread tester I will skip for now I don't think we need to change tires if we uh, have to we will so we are doing um, electronic tester now and uh, as I said doing a storyline job allows oh you see how everything is horrible allows us to basically do these testings and stuff and you can see how everything is working and I think that's well worth you know like uh, spending these 20 minutes which this job will take for sure uh, and the engine itself is not so bad so we let's let's use our thread tester let's be fair and use the last thing i'm not sure the tires are the problem but let's see let's see actually they are which is very very interesting so let's see there is huge number of parts that is not discovered and that's mostly re related i would say with uh, the suspension and uh, brakes and that's perfectly fine what we should try to do first is let's go and disassemble everything we can let's try to fix the engine first and then we can have a car that is actually moving also from what i remember uh, the cast the the list said battery if or not let let's go anyway we have our battery charger so let's use it uh yeah battery is 63 percent but why not use it uh, or you know charge it for a second while we are removing all of this so we are removing remove these parts from the engine you see starter horrible we have gearbox issues here so there is going to be a lot of things a uh, whole timing section here 
uh, must be actually uh, disassembled. Uh, let's let's do it. So, uh, you know, I was trying to go as fast as I can through the game, but I'm thinking now it's time to show we are, uh, you know, high level and it's time to show a more of a gameplay and, you know, things you can do. And I actually enjoy doing this. Don't, don't take it wrong. This is much nicer than pushing all these repairs one after another, one after another. Uh, so from what I figured, uh, we are very good. These parts are actually inside, should be okay. We have to take out a vibe and then we can take them from here and spark plugs of course these are gone and not good and we will do a, a recheck okay now let's see oil pan we will have to kind of go uh, down and clean that um, just give me a moment please I'm just looking through the parts I would expect this to be pretty pretty nice and while we are at that you see ABS module ABS um, pump we can see they're they're not good so why not remove them immediately uh, gearbox uh, look we are here let's do gearbox immediately yes let's do that so we know the gearbox is faulty let's do engine and gearbox first and then we will go with suspension and uh, the uh, what is left uh, brakes of course so gearbox actually for that we need to remove wheels as you can see and then we have to remove uh, these nice front drive axles uh, this is the only way i will have to drain or i will show you uh, something else um, maybe it's interesting to drain i don't know also if you don't drain oil from the car okay let's see if i would just open the oil um, pan uh, we will pay 100 units as you know cleaning expenses but i want to show you how do you drain oil you come here you say oil drain and send it to lifter now for example number three you click here and say drain oil and you see oil is drained now we can freely work with engine we know we know actually front exhaust section is uh, gone oil filter is gone oil pal pan is not good now we need to do visual inspection of parts here i hope uh, bear with me i just want to check and the part uh, condition is here always in the left top corner and okay also i want to show you something else if you put let's go disassemble if you put your mouse over part that has you know that is already uh, discovered at top uh, bottom left corner you can see the part and basically the status of the part these uh, road caps I will just go through them, give me a minute, because I'm 99% sure they're not a problem, but I just want to be on the safe side. Um, yeah, they're all perfectly good. So it seems that it's only oil pen uh, taking uh, these uh, engine parts in account. So let's uh, fix what we can and uh, let's move forward so oil pen i4 i will come here I'll go for i4 inline 4 or you know that is this i4 how i call it it's simple easy our oil pen is a simple i4 which is this one so we are going to return it back and we have uh, this part fixed now what i want to do we removed all these parts we have to remove we have to remove a front drive shaft and then we are going to remove a gearbox and you will see what is inside maybe yeah inside of the gearbox is in bad condition so let's uh, fix that and later i think suspension here doesn't look so good i think it's more about brakes so we will see this clutch plate actually is good and fly wheel so let's see some things we didn't discover not so much but most of the things is uh, done let's go uh, just to see 100 percent and uh, does game expect from us uh, let's check um, what i'm looking for i'm looking for our flywheel clutch pressure pressure plate and release bearing okay that should be done it new flywheel I think clutch plate also, uh, no clutch plate, let me check just to be sure, clutch, 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 yes, clutch plate can be uh, 
put the original you know back in uh, i'm almost 100 percent sure and the clutch release barrier now what i want to do i will escape for a second and we will go okay we will go here to our repair bench okay um, we use the repair bench often and we will use it now we have some parts from the crown mirror and what i uh, did in one of the previous episodes as you know i repaired all the parts and i proved uh, that uh, if you repair everything and sell everything you will earn more, more money than uh, just selling it unrepaired so actually i'm going to repair everything uh, everything that is here i honestly don't care for what car it is what we have we'll, we will repair what we don't have we buy new and change now gearbox we don't have obviously i've seen that but what i can tell you i might have one in the stock uh, i don't that is sad uh, let's uh, buy although that was i4 and it should be here this normal one i will buy two these are always needed you know and uh, that's uh, perfect so gearbox is in and we will return for now the front drive shaft uh, do we have, have anything here i don't want to do anything on suspension now okay i'm going to go back uh, gearbox is fixed let's take our battery and let's return battery back in and this is going pretty fast and it's a lot of fun trust me you shouldn't avoid these jobs i i kind of stopped doing them because i was thinking it's better to push and yes we pushed until level 35 and now it's not so urgent we can slow down a bit so we have a new part here and i'm quite sure we will need a timing belt no we will not and let's see you can always you know just double check with your do you have timing belt here no it should be okay belt tensioner now we don't have them in the stock um that's uh, sad i will buy three for now you will always need them you cannot fix them so when you start to do these repairs you always need them in the stock uh timing cover is perfectly fine we fixed it uh rollers now i think i can even be brave enough and go with old roller and again if you're not sure just check here uh, roller idler that i think we are safe uh, crankshaft pulley it seems to be perfectly fine uh, water pump i4 and alternator we will put uh, absolutely new one and buy water pump i4 we're switching again to i4 in line 4 and water pump should be at the bottom here that is the normal i4 uh, pump okay so uh, i'm trying what i'm trying to accomplish at the moment maybe to be able to move car but we will see serpentine serpentine belt i4 uh, let me see i4 uh, where it is uh, no this is timing and this is serpentine i think it is serpentine it's serpentine it's not serpentine so yeah as always you know uh, i'm not native speaker so if i'm mistaken i'm sorry it is what it is um, this is changed um, okay now we have these things uh, to put uh, from the bottom uh, radiator we didn't manage to repair it same uh, is with other uh, radiator parts so i'm going to buy now uh, it was the radiator a if i'm not mistaken usually it is yes it is radiator a uh, this is the usual combination with fan housing and this uh, fan here and that should uh, finish this side uh, no this is the uh, b plus uh, plus b fan fan one and two okay uh, so we are going to buy this and this and this not a biggie as always you know parts are needed and they will be needed at some other uh, side at some other job so no worries about that okay so this is uh, the engine what else do we need you remember probably uh, we need these and i keep them in stock usually but now we are not doing engines mostly so just not to overflow my stock uh, we are not doing them now why we cannot see them because they are far away so let's go here so we are going to put all four spark plugs okay 
and we can slowly check our progression so this is not discovered front exhaust section not discovered uh, exhaust manifold cover okay so we will change that oil serpentine belt a uh, which i have to check why it is serpentine um, belt a what why it is not there so give me a second ignition wires i4 uh, i4 let's uh, do them ignition wires these are somewhere here yes uh, perfect and don't forget uh, my shop uh, shortcut is on for me number one and that's the easiest and fastest way to do things so as i said a serpentine belt which one was uh, the question i force but we have a where is the a a should be somewhere around here oh, just give me a second when we mount that okay uh, what i want to check now engine we put this in i'm just checking did we we need a front exhaust section which is under the car so let's go up and put front exhaust section we should do that before when we were doing our gearbox i kind of forgot it actually to be completely honest front exhaust section uh, we are going to put it in just bear with me front exhaust section is uh where 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 front exhaust section front exhaust section 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 Pi Pi section. I will buy three, even five. Who cares at the moment? Uh, this is it. And now, do we have iPhone? Yes, we have. I I knew it. I got one, uh, and that's good. I will return axle in. And there is also, if you can see, there was one axle that was in bad condition. So front axle. Uh, let's uh, actually. Buy not a zaxel it's axle that was front a if i'm not mistaken or it's not a it's c yeah i remembered it looked differently so yeah okay perfect it was c i'm i'm just going too fast here and there i need to slow down a little bit perfect uh, that's it now finally we can put uh, this belt which is accessible french bait same with a manifold okay let's uh, do it uh, because I was a little bit confused, but yes, we need to put uh, the that exhaust first and then we can access all these things and, you know, uh, see how to do things. This serpentine belt A, okay, belt, uh, where is that most simple, most simple serpentine belt A? I think that this should be the one moment it is indeed uh, exhaust manifold uh, we need to buy that one also mm, it is somewhere 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 it, it was i4 or uh, i think it was this one even if it's not i really don't care it is perfect let's assemble all of that and let's see where we are at the moment do we have cover we don't uh, we are going to buy cover which is somewhere 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 where now it's more easy to find it in the sea of parts good this should conclude more or less our engine uh, parts let's see uh, what we changed the perfect everything abs model i know this caliper standard okay you see uh, i'm i have tendency to believe that we fixed more or less everything related with the engine maybe we missed something and we will try to fix that a little bit later do we have a module we don't let's buy one module and then uh, we can see where we are i'm thinking to return wheels to the car and just uh, you know for sake of it and maybe to go to the test uh, to the test track or test pad just let me see uh, yeah we need to push car up or uh, why why can we not yeah we can uh, from here of course what i'm thinking uh, let's just do this and see if we actually manage to fix the engine enough we need to put oil in i know that and once when oil is in uh, we should be able 
to start oh my goodness engine bay you have to click to engine bay you see if you don't click to engine bay it will not give you a chance to put oil so you have to click on engine bay i hope somehow that this is a, a engine job done and that we can actually push the car on the test path which is in our uh, which is in our shop let's hope for it and yes uh, that was uh, uh, actually a very good job where is oh it's a huge shop now you know you can get lost even do you have anything to repair no we don't car is here let's uh, put hood down for now and let's uh, start the process any of these machines will start the process top left corner you can see the status of your uh, things uh, you uh, you know and on the bottom it will ask you to accelerate uh, brake and things like that uh, and this is the way how you find uh, the you know condition of the suspension and brakes okay and now we wait uh, front suspension and rear suspension and that's about it i know that front brakes are not the greatest i was uh, looking at them uh, but suspension also had a few parts here and there that looked not so great okay so yeah one rubber bushing that uh, yeah we found perfect let's see now we can check the list of parts okay um, what is still unknown um, something is unknown okay Okie dokie, uh, I am uh, also uh, thinking, let's move car uh, to entrance and let's do something else. Uh, let's go also, I want just to showcase it, it's not that we have to, but let's go to the test track. Because um, a path will uh, figure everything out, I think test track will also give you a uh, few info that test pad cannot i'm not 100 percent sure honestly and if you are sure and if you know exact info let us know please in the comments below i would like to know i didn't check it uh, in before and i don't honestly much uh, care about that uh, so just uh, if you know that test pad and test track are giving a little bit different info let us know i believe that is the case and if something is not found on one it will be found on another uh, and that's why i brought car here but also i brought it here so you can see the mechanics how it looks so now we are going over our suspension test you see and uh, the last part would be just go a little bit here and uh, find the braking zone and brake driving in the game it's nothing special it you know if you want to drive car in some game please you know buy some driving simulator and uh, drive in there and you will have much more fun trust me so this is done uh, again as i said we should have a little bit of fun in the game and i love to do these things i love to test cars to check them to change parts you know to have a big job overhauling and i think it's well worth it so uh, we tested quite a few things nothing is uh, bad let's go to lifter one and let's start i moved from lift lifter three because it's a kind of uh, more convenient at the moment uh, i will now remove all brake parts okay if you push uh, long on the mouse it will put car down if you push short car will go up two levels now you see now it's going up if i hold mouse button it will lower the weight uh, so let's go what we are going to do we are going to remove all these parts uh, the brakes although we do have every single info about the brake again status of the part condition you can see in the top left corner or even in the bottom now i'm doing a uh, visual checking i do believe all parts here are good uh, bushings uh, this bushing has to go out let me see is there any other bushing 63 no i will just switch to this side uh, and uh, check the bushings the same uh, this one is gone so we are going to remove it and this one is uh, good perfect uh, let's go here uh, remove uh, this wheel and uh, see how this is working so we are missing some parts uh, i'm not happy about that but i will do my best to find what we are missing and what actual parts uh, we have problems with uh, bushings are looking good here and good here uh, let's see this one all of that is tested i'm just looking what uh, maybe it's not tested 
mm, this uh, will have the cup bearing is okay so at the moment I seem not to be able to find uh, what else is wrong with the car and something, something super obvious which I uh, am just not seeing usually that is the case and I cannot remember how many times I didn't see obvious but you know it is what it is and we cannot change anything I'm just uh, checking this is all tested uh, perfect what is uh, with our fuel pump we checked everything let's see now we still have I presume something that is not discovered and that part kind of bothers me at the moment I am um, now thinking what did I miss and I missed something uh, probably for sure but let's remove this wheel and then see maybe that will be the hubcap or something uh, now there is no hubcap here so okay let's see we will eventually have to find it and that's about it all parts here look good even steering rack um, do we have anything on the engine that looks uh, bad we checked all the pistons everything I'm just looking at uh, fuel we tested it for everything so uh, now I am starting to be very very confused and I'm thinking what did I miss and this is why uh, sometimes I don't like these jobs because you know what can I do now with, when I don't have a clue what part is is gone what should I do I'm just looking is that maybe something in the bottom uh, suspension looks perfectly fine everything here we tested suspension we tested everything all bushings uh, mufflers are looking good we changed everything here so it must be something that is related to the engine but we did uh, check uh, everything now uh, because it is situation like that uh, and it is my own uh, I will call it stupidity and it's probably something super obvious I, I honestly I, I don't have idea at the moment my brain uh, doesn't work properly and it simply you know we can uh, we can just think about what's wrong but I have no clue so let's open this and just to be on the safe side and see what is inside maybe here we will find of course the only thing I didn't check it's amazing this is why I wanted to do this uh, because usually as I said it will be something very simple something very obvious which will make you cry and you will try to figure it out you will not be able and then you are going to kind of you know just be so annoyed uh, in any case not a big deal uh, I'm absolutely not sure how did I miss that and how the testing missed it but you see this camshaft is actually oh yes we need to remove all these this camshaft is actually uh, really bad in bad condition so that was the last part uh, as I said not a big deal not a problem we lost uh, two or three minutes uh, with me running around and thinking what did I miss and I was sure that we tested a camshaft but unfortunately we didn't camshafts could be repaired but this was 13% now we removed all of these parts I'm looking they don't need a repair these are perfectly fine let's buy camshaft uh, uh, which one was that actually let's look in our inventory uh, that was i4 okay just give me a moment we will find it now uh, this is the one so uh, it will happen and already happened uh, a few times that I was completely lost and couldn't find the part and it was obvious and in front of me and for some strange reason you know sometimes your brain just stops and you are not able to figure out what's going on so yeah that's kind of I would say that is a good lesson for all of us that uh, something that is obvious sometimes it's not I should see that part when I was removing and changing you know that cam gear it was uh, there and it was shown clearly you know the, the end of it and I should see it is rusted uh, and I I didn't realize it was not tested by any of our um, testing processes so yeah 
it's kind of my bad but as i said this playthrough might be like you know i have 380 hours in the game but still it is for me pretty new because i did uh, not play for months and months before uh, this so you know it's not like i'm playing every day now i do and now uh, i'm starting to be better and better in the game and you know figuring things faster and faster but sometimes like this time i will spend few minutes uh, just you know thinking around and uh, like trying to figure out what the heck have i done and why this is uh, not okay now as you can see everything is pretty clear we know we have all the parts here uh, let's um, change what we can and i see the game is talking about rubber bushing i will push car up not sure for what rubber bushing probably one here that is missing uh, and let's go i'm putting all 100 percent parts so we don't need to think much about that and let's see we know 64 63 64 percent is acceptable so everything that we can change uh, not seven percent of course uh, but okay let's try to do that again slowly 63 percent and this car accepts uh, 100 nah, you, okay you cannot see that but let's see rubber bushing and the brake caliper disc pads that should be i think on the uh, rear tires so yeah now i cannot remember what caliper was that and the safest way i will be honest uh, from what i also uh, remember to go no wheels later uh, is to simply simply just uh, okay i will move like this put new parts if you're unsure you know i i am not sure we will see now 63 percent i'm just looking discs disc uh, ventilated one ventilated but these discs should be okay. Uh, pads, I will just put new ones and sell old ones. And calipers also, I cannot be bothered. Uh, I don't want to look at what part is missing or what, what part is not missing. So that's it. Mm, I'm trying somehow to switch here. Um, for these discs, I'm quite sure they're okay because from what I've seen, uh, they're not in the list. Pads, you see, I have one, uh, but I don't care. Calipers also, we will fix calipers now to 100%, and I think game will be happy with that. Where is our repair? Here. Just let's fix what we can, and that's it. And we are going to check status of our parts. A rubber bushing somewhere, we will find it. Caliper, ventilated disc, and pads. So, so we missed somewhere uh, something. Okay, unmount uh, doesn't really matter. We will we will fix that now. So I'm putting everything new. Probably I put some uh, older part, well original part, uh, somewhere where game doesn't like it. So we have on bushing, brake pads. Uh, somewhere brake pads we need ch to change brake pads. So let's just see. Uh, these are not new so what i'm going to do remove them put new brake pads and pu put new brake caliper in and let's see is a uh, game going to be happy with that game is super happy with that and we are missing a uh, rubber bushing which actually now we need to figure out 63% should be okay. This one is 63. Let's see. I'm trying just to find out. This one is 100. And uh, yeah, there is one here. Ah, okay. Here we do have here one bushing that needs a uh, change. So that's it. Now we did that. Uh, all the things are changed and we need two new standard tires so how do we do that we go here to our tire changer and we uh, remove you see these uh, horrible standard tires we remove them from the rims we are going to buy a new ones in a second first uh, i just want to uh, remove this uh, this one then we are removing uh, no this one no we are looking for actually this one that has a horrible standard tire so these are 16 205 205 45 
16, so 205, 45, 16, 205, 45, 16. So we got two tires, uh, we managed to do this. Now we are going to mount, but not on this wheel, but on this one. I have to remove these from the inventory and put them somewhere in the uh, warehouse or so. So the first one is on, we are removing it and uh, balancing. As you know, and if you don't, I will repeat it, before you put wheels on the car, so basically completed wheel with trim and tire, it needs to be balanced. And that is of course case with uh, real car also, so uh, that's good game mechanics and very very nicely implemented, I have to say. Uh, with that part I'm quite impressed and I think developers did a great job. Uh, maybe, maybe now let's see uh, on what wheels i just want to be sure i will put a new one here and then we are going to check this okay game is happy so we will put these new wheels on front uh, and i'm honestly uh, never sure should i put them on the exact place from where i took them or is their exact place or the game doesn't really care doesn't matter it seems this is okay and it works uh, pretty nicely so this is second tire uh, we can mount it from here you see this is also very nice when you can get actual focus to go let's see this perfect 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 and uh, uh, i think our mechanical all mechanical things are done uh, oil was uh, t taken out and now we have a right headlight and front bumper Katsumoto right headlight and a front a bumper let's see right headlight and front bumper front bumper that would be the one and right headlight am I correct here uh, so let's uh, send car immediately where to our paint shop because we have to paint it from what I remember and add these few parts and let's uh, do it close the hood switch to assemble mode add the front bumper and add the headlight and maybe front license plate no the customer doesn't really care about that uh, do we have uh, to paint it let's double check it a repair or no we don't so this job uh, task bonus is eight uh, and a half thousand that's safe to say and let's see if we did everything properly how many XP's we have got no and is asking us for a front license plate we, which I think uh, do I have maybe I have something in stock some random plate give me a moment no unfortunately I don't so I have to spend uh, 100 or 80 I think let's take Andorra 190 even to buy uh, the license plate and this I hope concludes the job let's check finish order 166 XP now this job took for sure I would say 20 30 minutes something like that and that was storyline job which is perfectly nice and fine and it was a little bit of fun but now fun stops and we have to start to move with proper jobs the only job here that we can do is uh, actually this body job i'm not happy with that but uh, let's do body job i think uh, yeah do we have anything else no okay i need to take as i explained my way of doing it i just go in and take a photo and then I have simply a, a photograph of the parts and that should work very well. The car is, the car is Piccolo. So let's see and buy uh, parts for our Piccolo. Okay, the Piccolo is here. So the first is rear left door. It has even four doors. Uh, trunk which probably is here front right fender which is here a left daylight uh, no this headlight a left daylight front left door window front left door window which is this one 
left side mirror, uh, this one front right door window, this one and rear left door window, rear left door window. So you see my problem when I'm talking about the parts, how would you remember all of that and you know how do you buy all of that, you have to go all the time in and you know like uh, check and go in the shop and lose time, I extremely extremely annoying. As always I'm asking you if you know better way to do it and maybe I'm doing it wrong, please let us know, maybe there is a way to transfer these um, uh, parts, list of parts to the game and to the shop, I don't know, I didn't find it. Front left door window, so this is front left door window, I'm just looking. Left side mir mirror also, front right door window, this should be this one, and rear right door window. Although by taking photo you are really uh, rear right, rear left, mm. Okay, so rear left, not rear right, we are going to put it in. So I'm just changing parts, I'm putting what I know uh, it needs to go in. Uh, let me see, here we have this, here we have this, although when we put this one we will have opportunity to put this one in. Uh, trunk, uh, uh, trunk uh, window and um, left daylight doesn't have any logic that this trunk window is 22 percent and it can stay on the car and some part of 60 percent has to be removed from the car as i said i do believe that is uh, a bug in the game and from my point of view it shouldn't be like that but yeah who am i to say anything uh, developers should uh, you know fix that and probably you know i don't know change the mechanics so we are setting factory color and we are painting car. Good. Not uh, much complicated, not many you know things to do, not a uh, complicated job. Uh, nice payout, uh, more than 4k. So that's perfect. Let's see how many XP is. 118. So 118 XP is so always you can see XP in the top uh, right corner below the XP counter. Now, we didn't manage to go even one level up and we have to push and go at least one level up. So first job and second job, we are taking two jobs immediately. Let's uh, do it. Uh, this is kind of, you know, I'm thinking uh, a new format, not new really, but uh, somehow how we will do that in the future. I presume we are going to actually try to do the storyline jobs because I feel uh, that is the way to do it. Not that we need to, but I feel uh, we should. And also we should uh, do some restoration in, uh, restorations in the process. So we will slow down XP grinding. That's my point. You see exhaust manif manifold. I always said go first to the engine bay, check if you are doing exhaust job because in engine bay usually you will have some exhaust manifold or something missing and I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking maybe instead of uh, doing uh, uh, the bottom, uh, you know, the, the bottom part and stuff there, let's change the manifold first, yes, that's the best and now we can do undercarriage and stuff that are under the car, I'm just going to check there is quite a few of them, so practically a full uh, set of rear mufflers, middle mufflers and one front exhaust pipe or not. No, but front exhaust section, which I'm absolutely sure we don't have on stock. It was six parts. Yes, everything we found. Uh, let us switch to assemble mode just to see. We do have it. Amazing. So I even got these in the stock. I'm quite happy with that and as you can imagine having these parts in stock uh, in your inventory uh, does uh, makes things faster so always buy multiples that's it finish order not big payout but 107 xp in no time okay we have one more job in meantime uh, in the meantime uh, we are taking this one this is a gearbox job and i should or could or uh, maybe i should take I don't know the brake job just to have something yeah I will take it just to have something in the stock and what happened did we luckily we took proper job or we just give me a second to check yeah, okay. 
Okay, we took proper job. I was scared we missed something. Okay, let's see this one. A loud exhaust again. Uh, we are checking here. As you can see, immediately manifold is uh, gone, and we will immediately do uh, exchange. Uh, do we have a spare one? We do. Perfect. Eight screws, and this is uh, done. Now I will just uh, rotate it and uh, say, oh my goodness, another one. Horrible. So again, eight screws on one side, that's eight screws on the other side, and that's about it. And I think it was three parts, so should be something else, but we are going to get there. Done. And uh, yeah, there's a rear muffler, which I think we have one more spare or two more spare, we will see. Mm. Sorry, I'm trying to drink a little bit uh, of fluid and that's it. Okay, rear muffler, let's see, this is it, we have one uh, right click, done, mediocre payout, mediocre, but 131 XP and that is what we are aiming for, these are the things we are looking for forward to. So I'm moving this to level uh, lifter 3, uh, checking here. Nothing I want to do for now. Uh, this is Salem Spectre. I don't know. I'm not actually sure do I want to do it. But as we don't have other jobs, let's take it. It can sit here and I can always just reject it. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. This is the brake job. So as it is the brake job, you know my logic with uh, brake jobs. Uh, you can always do however you want, maybe first open the hood, take uh, the things from here, uh, and why I didn't click on engine bay? I, I did. Okay, now it's good. So we have ABS module and ABS pump, and very often you will have them, so status of the part, condition is in the top left corner. Now with that out of the way, I am pushing cars car up. Uh, and uh, you could do it on the first level, but I don't like it. I like it like this. And I am now disassembling every single wheel, okay? Removing all the parts. We could test it, but it's not time uh, efficient. And I'm just removing it. The car accepts 69%, so that is good to know. Uh, we need ventilated discs. So let's go to the shop. Back and back and brakes and ventilated discs. We will take a nine of them, and in the meantime, I'm going to sell everything that is 15% or less. Okay, so ventilated brake disc. I know that we need brake pads probably. Uh, the car accepts how much? 69. Unfortunately, I cannot use these uh, yellow brake pads. I would love to because it would be good that we can use them, but we cannot. So we will have to buy calipers and we will have to buy brake pads, which we will do immediately when we put this wheel. Let's go. Uh, brake pads I will buy uh, like 11 and calipers I will buy 4 and that's it. Let's move. Next wheel, switching to unmount mode, uh, off-road tire, nice. So let's see, uh, this also looks pretty pretty bad, uh, as you can see, caliper is gone, um, probably brake pad also, yeah, and the disc. Uh, do we have discs? I kinda, oh, we have exactly two, uh, as much as we need at the moment, and we can change caliper, all of these are really in bad condition, but, but as always I'm, uh, you know, uh, how do you say that in English? I cannot remember. I want you to pay attention on basically these cylinders that are never, ever, ever, never faulty. These brake caliper cylinders, which doesn't have any uh, logic and stuff, and it's like that in the game for years. And you know, this just shows uh, the neglect towards the game that the company which is making it is actually you know exercising that's sad but you know it's okay you can play the game regardless but it's it takes a little little bit of rea realist realisticity and maturity that is the word reality let's say from the game okay and the last wheel should be this one 
So we are 1 hour 13 minutes into the game, we did one storyline job, we pushed over level 39 and what I'm trying to do at the moment is to push over level 40 if that is possible, I'm actually not so convinced but you never know, uh, with few uh, super uh, fast and interesting jobs we might be able to even do it. Uh, let's just uh, finish this job and then we are going to our repair bench to try to repair whatever we have and then we are going to uh, sell stuff, ABS pump, ABS module. Uh, is it possible that I didn't actually change them? I just took them off. That was very very stupid from my side. You should always, if you, you know, remove the part you just put it back. So why would you actually kind of leave it there. Probably I was thinking about something else and just, you know, uh, ignored it. It's perfectly okay. Uh, let's finish this job. Uh, see, do we have some other interesting job? I think we can immediately sell this uh, small payout, 1000, but 1113 XP. So we are checking a new jobs. No, this one is ours and that is the last one. That was good. Let's go to repair bench. And we have uh, these few things which I really want to repair. As I explained, uh, we tested in last episode, previous episode, I think, um, we tested uh, is it uh, good to repair all these uh, parts, you know, uh, body parts, and sell them. And I can uh, promise you, uh, yes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sell everything that we have here. And I'm selling it manually. There is a reason, because I don't want I don't actually want to sell them uh, in bulk because if I sell 100% in bulk it will sell all of my parts. Uh, I tried, you know, like from directories, uh, but once happened because I was thinking if I sell it from here it will just sell parts from here, but from my point of view what happened it sold everything. So I'm just uh, playing it safe for a moment. Uh, this is uh, gearbox problems. Uh, the best jobs, as always. Uh, this should be V6. Uh, no, this is inline 6. So starter is going from here. And then immediately we are switching to the uh, under the car and uh, removing uh, the gearbox parts. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have 680,000. Uh, we will spend, I hope, last 15 minutes uh, if we can. Um, on some uh, things to show you know what we have how are we managing things uh, what we have accomplished until now our parking and stuff like that and we have uh, half an hour more to push with our repairs so let's uh, do that for now uh, last episode we went to junkyard so feel free to check it it was interesting trip really and I liked it. Um, also what I wanted to say, uh, we did a test again to repeat if you have all these body parts that are left from your jobs, from the orders, because customer simple, simply uh, the customers uh, leave the old body parts with you, you can fix them and you should fix them after level 35 of course when you unlock that and then you should sell them. You will earn more money in that way than actually uh, by selling them as they are. We tested that twice and twice we got the same result. So I would uh, safely say that is uh, the case. And why we went to Junkyard? Because we were buying uh, these gearboxes, especially the blue ones. If you remember, these are the adjustable ones with uh, adjustable gear ratios. We repair them and you know you can either sell them and you will always make nice profit or you can keep them and use in some restorations or you know whatever uh, else you want to do and also i buy engine uh, blocks which are expensive and i repair them and sell them uh, actually i don't need to do that as you look at the money we have it's uh, like almost 700,000 and stuff but i like to do that it's the game you know and why not so everything done should be all good nice bonus not too big finish order and we are 125 xp in let's move this one to the first lifter this one to the third lifter and uh, let's check our jobs maybe we'll find something interesting at the moment no i will ignore it and let's see what is this one is bodywork no this is gearbox ah, again gearbox and this should be big engine v8 yeah perfect 
So everything goes under the car, let's uh, push car up and let's do it. As always, gearbox jobs are the best jobs, you should always uh, do them. Now, not a single job that we can do easy. I don't know, I will wait a little bit more, let's risk it. Um, okay, gearbox, we are coming here, we are taking off starter. I was talking about that uh, earlier today. There will be seven parts, this is second one, we took one part and we are taking now down second part and then we are taking part number three this is the, the gearbox and you know inside we will have this flywheel and clutch and stuff clutch plate and stuff so these are going to be actually seven parts in total if you look at that uh, this is actually uh, it and done we will just now uh, put new parts in and we can move forward with this job last time i got 11 uh, 11 pieces of each of inner parts for our uh, gearboxes so i'm quite happy with that we do have enough and i got few spare uh, v8 gearboxes so we can do our jobs much faster i am returning starter and the last thing is drive shaft and this job will be done in next 30 second stops and that's it so another 120 for example xp done right click and i am just going through this like crazy two and a half thousand and 116 xp um what else uh yeah let's check jobs see now the jobs are really not good really really crappy uh maserati stradale let's take this one it can you know it's dual job what i don't like but let's take it one to have in reserve we can always ignore it and just uh, say we don't want to do it oh body job okay body job uh, as always uh, how i'm doing that i'm repeating that time after time because you cannot know that you cannot see that i'm taking my mobile phone and i'm taking the photo of uh, list of the parts now we know this is Salem Spectre and we are going to our shops and uh, body shops and Spectre Salem 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 perfect uh, so what do we need front left door front right door so we will take this and we will take this front right fender which is here uh, then we need a right headlight it is here right tail light it is here left body window a uh, that one should be somewhere left body window a left body window a okay is that for the no that seems to be for this one okay uh, front right door window ah this is for the fastback what which one we are fixing what did i buy now okay let's see uh, I got wrong parts. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's buy proper parts. So we need a normal specter, which is here. So let's do it again. Left door, right door, right fender, right headlight, uh, left or right, left body window A, which is where? Here front right door window front right door window and right side mirror okay so as you can see i got some wrong parts because the naming uh, of this car uh, cars can be a little bit uh, stupid sometimes uh, but it doesn't really matter uh, you know it is perfectly fine we will just um, remove parts we know we need uh, to change and then we will uh, go and change it uh, let me see left uh, left 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 body window a this should be the one front right door window and right side mirror okay i think that is it let's change it all these um, transparent white parts means you need to put uh, parts into the place so let's uh, do it uh, why i have two who knows doesn't really matter uh, let's see when we miss something if we miss okay now i'm very much confused what do we need right tail light right tail light 
Ah, okay, fair enough. I didn't buy that one for sure. I can say that with certainty. Okay, let's see what else we are missing. I just want to put everything, all parts we have here, and then, you know, just a triple check, and that's it. Not a big deal, and I should have this headlight here. Okay, everything is here. I hope it is done. 108, uh, 108 XP, the job done. We have some parts, as you can see, left here, and uh, we actually absolutely don't care about that. And I'm going, uh, now I'm not going in to repair anything, I'm just going to sell it because it's uh, making mess in my inventory and it annoys me. Less and less jobs, you see. Uh, so let's take this one. So we are getting all uh, dual jobs uh, or even triples, uh, which is not actually good for the progression, not at all. Uh, so we will move these cars to lifters. I do believe these two will bring um, quite a nice chunk of money. Uh, that is why I'm not actually complaining. Let's see this one. Uh, this is easier job, I would say. So let's first remove um, the rear clamshell. And most probably, yeah, click on the engine. Um, exhaust section is gone. Uh, just triple check. Exhaust section is gone. I would bet on uh, some of these parts. But as you can see, the parts as such ha are having different uh, different uh, damage uh, damage uh, textures so uh, it's uh, sometimes really hard to figure out what uh, is what so let me see mm, two manifolds a and one b uh, with 12 a let's move here Two manifolds A and one B. Have I said that? It doesn't really matter, we will buy one spare anyway. And the gearbox is which one? Gearbox is V12A. I don't think we have a spare one, so I will buy I will buy two. They can sit there. I honestly don't mind at all. Uh, yeah, I think I can return these first. So these should be uh, in and then we will think about gearbox. Now you see the problem, the problem is the time that this is taking is much more than just single job and it will be quite a few things to do. Uh, I didn't buy Zonda rear exhaust section so that's also something that uh, we have to buy. And yeah, we'll immediately change it because I don't think it has any impact on our job on the gearbox. Uh, the starter is just triple check to be absolutely sure here. So yes, I needed to do that. But I have to push Kara because we have these uh, axles which we need to remove. This job will bring 120 up to 130 XP, but it will take way more time than single job. Uh, with way more I'm thinking about two minutes more which is actually a way more and uh, something that we uh, didn't need to spend but as we didn't get uh, any proper job like single one we needed to do this it doesn't really matter let's just push forward uh, this is our gearbox and the inside of the gearbox is also in horrible condition so we are removing that can we go to level uh, 40 i honestly uh, well it's not i don't think we cannot simply no way uh, we are missing thousand points if i'm not mistaken and thousand points is at least 10 short jobs 10 short jobs is at least 20 minutes uh, that would be yeah if we wouldn't stop and you know do some other stuff uh, we could go there but we will see actually what we've done uh, by doing the uh, storyline job uh, took uh, that time needed basically to go to level 40 so we are slowing down a bit but I do believe uh, we are making things more interesting and also I'm in the process learning a little bit I forgot some things you know like uh, today uh, camshaft I completely forgot about it so it was my bad and you know I shouldn't uh, 
not see that immediately, but I didn't, so I spent a minute or two just uh, like a headless chicken running around and thinking what, what, what. It happens, it happens. Uh, also, with these cars, you need to switch here, you need to switch to assemble mode, return the clamshell, and there is quite a few things that you have to do, and that takes time, so uh, somehow these jobs can be annoying in a way, everything is fixed. Uh, nice bonus, money is nice, and I never avoid these, but uh, 137, perfect. What do we have? We have this one, this one is ours, let's take it. In the meantime, what is this one? Brake and gearbox. Okay, now, as we have uh, brakes, let's see electronics, where is electronics on this one? It's here, ABS module is gone, let's change it immediately and we can move forward. As always with brake jobs, I will go through uh, all the wheels, uh, that is by far, from my point of view, fastest, easiest way to fix it. Most of the time you will anyway have uh, all wheels, uh, something on all wheels faulty and you will have to do that anyway so it will not help if you test the car in uh, you know uh, before the job it's simple way like i'm doing now uh, i'm going through all the parts just removing them and putting what else uh, is necessary to change and that's about it so with this car it's 72 percent obviously it's only this brake disc and we can put all original brake pads and original caliper back onto the car. Uh, where is original caliper? It was 80% and that's done. First wheel and I will just drink a little bit of fluid. Perfect. Uh, that is one wheel done. Uh, let's go for another. As you can see, again, it seems that this is uh, faulty and caliper and pad are in very good condition. Disc, uh, we don't have disc, so we will go and just drop here and buy for now nine of them uh, and we can uh, fix them. Don't forget always put the original part, this was 91% and the caliper also was 90% uh, because you don't want to spend your part uh, that you got new if you don't have to. Okay, so this wheel is done, uh, I'm switching to the next one and this one also is uh, faulty, I can see uh, there is quite a few parts caliper is gone uh, and maybe even the pads yeah everything on this one is bad so this one goes new brake pads go again new and the caliper as you can see it's faulty we'll try to fix it it's 15 percent should be possible doesn't mean we will be able but yeah we'll see this is the third wheel and after that we are having the last one and then we will have to go to do gearbox. So I, I really, really don't like these jobs that having multiple parts. It takes too, too much time simply for the XP gain. It's not worthy in any way, uh, but you shouldn't forget that, that game simply will not give you other opportunities. You know, it will give you what it gives you and you either take it or, you know, just wait for some other job. But I would rather do a uh, dual job with two different, uh, you know, like uh, faults than wait for uh, the single one. Now, that's done. Uh, perfect. Uh, we changed everything. Uh, that's about the brakes. Let's do gearbox as always. Uh, drive shaft, uh, you know, rear wheel drive. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, we will also go and do the starter. And I think uh, I'm uh, having, uh, uh, I will have to buy uh, new gearboxes, uh, the V8s, because I don't think I have more on the stock. And that's it, clutch plate and plywood. So did, this is okay, uh, this job will again be probably around 1.30. But I would rather get two times one 
O2 and finish at the same time. It would be more efficient. V8, as I said, I don't have them in the stock at the moment. V8s are here. I will buy three for now uh, to, to stay in the stock uh, inventory and one for this machine. Uh, let's put starter back in and I'm getting battery starters. I'm now not forgetting to put them in the place. If you watch like uh, some episodes in the middle of our series or beginning more or less, I had that uh, relation with starters, you know, I couldn't uh, remember to put them back in and yeah. So 3000, uh, 4000, it's okay. Finish order 125, not even 130 really not a great number but nothing can be done uh, we will move car to lifter 3 and in the meantime i will check jobs and this one two seconds can i yes perfect we managed to uh, gain another job to get it um, i never did anything on elise so that's nice uh, what is with this one um, gearbox only nice job let's check uh, did we know this is a dual one you know this one we will also take because it's a uh, gearbox and exhaust i like these much more than brakes and uh, gearbox or brakes and exhaust so this one is uh, gearbox uh, let's see which kind of engine it's inline so uh, we will have to change and remove basically started from here and that is it and now we are pushing car up and let's uh, do it 135 1 hour 35 minutes at the moment so uh quite okay we are uh, actually uh, doing pretty well uh, i as i said i don't really believe in any way that we can go to level 40 but actually that was not the primary thing today. The primary thing today was to have fun, play a little bit uh, through the game, uh, do a storyline mission, which takes time, uh, you know, learn a little bit in a process. And I think that is uh, what we uh, accomplished instead of rushing through the repairs like uh, lunatics. And as I said, it takes all the fun from the game if you are grinding it like crazy. You can, of course, it's up to you, but I would recommend, you know, to take a break break uh, here and there. And also, you know, why you wouldn't tell me in the comments below uh, how did you go through the game if you went through it? And how did you go to level 50? Did you do it, you know, like uh, rushing like crazy or did you take uh, like, you know, more laid back approach and uh, slowly did things? So let me know. I'm quite interested to know and of course share that with your uh, fellow players so they can maybe learn something from it. Okay, okay, we are very far, oh, very far, uh, very far from level 40, but uh, very near the finishing of this job when i say very far it's very uh, you know relative because uh, when we finish this job and this is exactly in this moment uh, payout is nothing uh, starter did i not put oh yeah uh, this car is different so i need to put starter from here okay i was thinking about v8 but this is no v8 so actually starter is but not this one we are putting old starter again it's not old it's original from this car that we just removed so bonus 2000 uh, e, let's see 116 points not so bad not so great either uh, i don't mind look at these jobs horrible horrible collection of the jobs i don't want to do a single one of them uh, let's move it to maybe lifter 3 so it can stay here this is also a lease um, gearbox job if i'm not mistaken no this is even better uh, Elise should have uh, here the system yeah this okay we can remove this this oh look at this this is amazing this is the easiest thing but i just need to check what parts everything can be done from here that's usually not possible so Elise, uh, Elise, front, rear, and exhaust manifold I4D. I4D, exhaust manifold, I am sure that I don't have one in the stock. Yeah, this is only for the Lotus, and let's say Elise. And yeah, this is it, and this is it. 
perfect superb uh, this should be again the super fast drop if you see a list with gearbox problems take it in not gearbox but uh, the, 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 the exhaust jobs uh, job take it immediately because actually this can be done in 30 seconds and this is it 104 xp actually for nothing look at these jobs these are really really horrible not a single one that i would like to take maybe this one but i will not because i don't want to do all of that um this is again a uh, car is loud a gearbox slipping we have two jobs in one uh, this is a little bit easier than uh, usual stuff because it's uh, gearbox and the exhaust let me see this side and let's buy uh, our manifolds i think we don't have um, any more in the stock so i will buy three and keep them in if you can remember we had quite a few of these and i think we will have them in the future also so why not have something in the stock um what else this is one and the gears are slipping so with this car the gearbox is not gone uh i would say unfortunately because when gearbox is gone you always earn more money uh, not a single good job but i will not complain because uh, we can just you know do this fast change uh, the flywheel and whatever the bearing and whatever is uh, you know faulty there and then uh, we will have this job out of the way and done and if we don't find any other job we are going to just you know do a few more interesting things and that's about it so yes you can see the inner inners as i say them as uh, is i call them inners of the gearbox and the connecting parts between engine and gearbox are gone let's see this is it and this is nice uh, we are actually uh finishing this job pretty fast and we can we can see where we are and basically uh, understand how much we have to push in order to get to level 40 and then slowly push towards level 50. Okay, this is it. Drive shaft. Done. Let me see. Good. This should be the last uh, of this for this car perfect finish order 116 which is not so bad now if we had three more jobs that are super simple and easy we could actually go to level 40 but i don't think we are going to get them and we have only 19 well 18 minutes left although as i said that's not set in stone you know but i'm trying kind of to keep uh, to keep these episodes around two hours and uh, if you are asking yourself uh, how i'm doing this what is the format and everything so it's simple play through but i'm doing it uh, like a uh, stream uh, i explained that multiple times i would love to stream and i like to do that but at the moment unfortunately technical technical capabilities of the internet on my location are not allowing me to do that i cannot have a proper stream a steady stream stable stream and actually i don't want you know to do it uh, like that so i decided to do streams uh, unfortunately without live interaction with you guys but you know the format is there and uh, the actual concept uh, and how you know things are looking is also here so i'm actually streaming but without uh, without an actual uh, live stream i'm streaming to hard disk to uh, a file and then i'm posting that as it is on the youtube this means there is no montage here no video editing nothing it is just uh, what you get is what you get and that's about it and i would love to you know hear in comments below what do you think about this and how interesting you find uh, this and do you like it so i for are we uh, i don't know i will buy one i cannot remember how often i encounter these 
we will see at the moment let's just change it and uh, do the drive shot so if you look at our XP and now you know for sure XP is in top right corner you can see the amount is 39,439 uh, that's not so bad uh, we are uh, very very near uh, the, that limit of level 40 uh, which uh, kind of you know we were aiming for and again if I'm saying aiming for that is just you know the basic idea where we should go not that we have to or whatever else so nice payout standard nothing special 118 xp perfect no more jobs let's see uh, oh my goodness so this one is the only actual job plus this one that we could do but we are at 144 and we have i don't know i'm not sure 559 659 okay let's try to do that as fast as we can as fast as we can so let's see uh spray it with the factory color oh my goodness this this is uh the best thing that can ever happen to you trust me spray it with the factory factory color look at this we come in we come here click click say say something stupid like i did <laughs> no not say uh you should set set not say set factory color paint color done escape yes finish order 110 110 xp for that who the hell gave us 110 xp for that i'm not complaining actually at all that was the amazing job and that will allow us to this is specter fast back okay let's try to take a photo as always this is a, a fast back 500 let's see let's see go to the shop immediately here 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 500 uh, we cannot do it like that a uh, fast um, back where is t okay no fast back no way 500 salem specter uh, i think this is the one i think this is the one actually uh, let's uh, buy a front left fender let's buy a left headlight b which is not here front uh, maybe just to check here uh, to the this uh, this one so salem specter let's see let highlight b this should be the one right headlight b right tail light uh, b and other things should be uh, nothing is b so other things should be in the normal normal shop fast back here uh, so what did i say front left fender uh, did i have i got one i probably did front left door window left side mirror and front right door window as always i don't care about money uh it's we have it more than we need and if you buy a few parts here and there that you don't need just don't bother yourself uh, just sell them or leave them and you will uh, reuse them at some point in time uh, shouldn't be a big deal front left door uh, front left door window front uh, left side mirror front right door window that should be i think most of it and we will switch to assemble mode and put parts in what we know let me see these two should go in this one should go in this all these are transparent white as i said i bought two of these i don't mind i don't care i will just sell it and that's about it uh we have this one also and then uh 
let me see we are not missing anything and we are sending car immediately to paint shop running there and painting car in factory colors and uh, well it's one color i would say uh, wherever you click uh, that's good set factory that nice green paint get out and let's see can we finish this order 117 perfect so 149 we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish let's see there is not a single good job uh, we are at level 40 level level 40 here let's see it gives us 15% discount in shops, we are going to take it and 50% uh, off trips to junkyards and barns, not caring about that at all, I think I turned it off anyway. Uh, so that's that, we do have a few upgrade points that we are not going to need most probably. Everything is unlocked, uh, the, our beautiful shop is empty at the moment. So let's see what we are going to do now. Let's uh, check uh, first and sell all the parts that are below 90%. I honestly don't want to keep anything. Uh, and let's talk about barns and cases. We always do that at the end of each show. So cases are given from the jobs and you can get them in the barn when you click and open it. I will now do that shorter and shorter because I explained it uh, so many times. You are getting some nice parts that have a uh, plus quality and also you can get bar location map which is super amazing. I will say collect and check at the bottom the value of these parts is horribly low so basically less than 200 but we got barn map and I'm happy about that. I just sold the part because I don't want it to be here. What are bar locations? These are amazing things that uh, don't exist on the map until you, uh, you see, until you click on them and basically uh, make one barn or you get the location because someone will tell you, hey, I heard there is nice barn and look, we are adding it and clicking again and now immediately we have barn here. So let's go to the barn. So that is like from all these uh, shows that you're watching, barns and people are finding in the barns uh, most amazing things. So you can do the same. And the barns are the places where you have parts, which are usually better conditioned than in junkyard and cars that are in better condition than in junkyard, okay? Sometimes you will get uh, a small barn with one car, sometimes barn with few cars. Here it seems it's only one. It doesn't really matter. So you will check each pile if you want. Of course, it's not uh, you are not obligated to do that. But I am uh, doing that uh, for one simple reason. Let's see uh, how much is this one. We don't need it at the moment. I'm doing that because I want to show you why I like also to do. I will take. No, I will not. It's thirteen percent. Cannot be fixed. Why we are checking each junk pile? Uh, because uh, in the barn you will always find one. Uh, you will always find uh, another bolt reptila. I don't want it. Always find a case. Okay. So case you take case. I don't want to check anything else. So two cars in this barn. Nothing special. Two bolt reptilas. Uh, these are Corvettes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't want any of these now and I will say okay I'm happy I want to go so 200 units for the box or case I will buy it why not I kind of uh, like to have them and the money is never a big issue here and that uh, you know you can always earn enough money so what we want to do now we want to go back to our uh, end of our queue and this is the latest thing that we got so this is the case we have got from the barn let's click on it let's open it and let's see what are we getting from the case as always i got another barn map for me job is done i'm happy and that is perfect and two parts that are really not good parts uh, this is 52 and this is 40 so 90 units and one barn map for me 200 units was well worth a barn map and often you will get less than 200 but sometimes you will get parts that are thousand or so so it's well worth to open all the cases and we have so many of them that is actually amazing uh, i will show you just uh, we will have to do one episode just opening these cases for 10 15 minutes or so and see what we have there so these are my uh, 
cases here in the stock as you can see and I will actually sort everything by name and move all these uh, maps and cases to my warehouse because I don't want them to sit here no reason for that so we have quite a few of them and then I have this plus plus you see uh, warehouse where I usually put all these um, plus plus parts let's just you cannot sort them specially but you have to do it like this wherever you see them you just move them and I will move them because they are sitting in my inventory for no reason at all at all I have a lot of gearboxes that I repaired I got them from the junkyard if you remember then I repair them and then I keep them for the fix uh, you know if you want to fix something or actually you know I can sell them and earn a lot of money on uh, that plus four and there was uh, this one so you can always come here and you know if you want to find maybe some parts when you're restoring car and say oh nice nice we will use this plus five nice uh, round air filter cover and you will need that one eventually same with these belts and stuff so yeah it is pretty nice uh, thing to have and you can always you know uh, just uh, stockpile them or actually sell them if you find that to be uh, more interesting uh, today uh, we kind of pushed with repairs we didn't go out uh, as you can see this is outside world where other uh, people do their stuff you know and we can go to different tracks which are as I said uh, multiple times pretty useless except this track and you can go to speed track but there is no uh, any um, kind of keeping uh, scores or anything uh, you go there you do it and you come back and you don't have an idea how fast you were and what you did and what car did what so that's very sad but you know it is big oversight and uh, again a bit of negligence about the game and uh, the how the game is working but I would uh, hope that after um, the developers re release VR version which is actually not needed and uh, uh, not many people care about that that they will uh, step up and maybe release even car mechanic simulator to either uh, the car mechanic simulator 2021 or you know fix this game and um, uh, work a little bit on it so uh, we have a few more minutes and I just jumped to junkyard uh, just to show you so this is the junkyard you have all these junk piles uh, dozens of them you know cars also you can click on the car and when you click on it I will see amount of oh, this is amazing I have never seen this barn location map I wanted to explain you how you can get uh, each time when you visit junkyard you will get one barn location map but you have to go and check every single pile to get it and I just checked this first one and got it and that is the first time actually ever that happened to me so nice there is uh, always first time for everything so when you check your inventory uh, we have nice barn location map here but I'm coming not only for barn location I'm coming for uh, different gearboxes and engine uh, engine blocks uh, like we can check here that I am buying for example I don't want to buy this one is 13% you cannot fix it but still this one is pretty good uh, let's see this one 13% no and then I fix them and either sell them or keep them for you know uh, my pro projects and stuff like that also you can buy cars here so this is Bolt Atlanta you can go around and on different places you will see cars sometimes it will be there here also you will find sometimes the car uh, now here you see this is the bolt uh, that we had in that barn but this one is only 12k because it's hor in horrible condition and i believe this is better buy because anyway you're going to disassemble all car whole car and everything you see and you can click on junk you know and see maybe you want something from here and if you have some other way if you play this game and you know maybe better way to earn money or to do stuff let us know this is another smith 1500 we already have one and this is another uh, mazda rx3 which i always buy regardless i don't care this is the car i love dearly and i have now three of them and i will buy 10 of them if i can find them so perfect mm, what is this this is some sakura moon perfect uh we don't care about that so this is kind of you know what you can find on junkyard and how junkyard is functioning 
Uh, this is Plymouth Roadrunner 440. We have a beautiful one from the junkyard and we will restore it so that one is better condition and it will require a little bit less work. What is this? This is RT Dodge Challenger, which I'm going to buy. I don't really care about the condition. I'm going to buy it and restore it. We will probably sell all these restored cars later, restored cars later. And this is something that we cannot uh, not to buy. This is 911 Turbo S. Uh, and, you know, we have more than enough money, so I will also buy this one uh, and uh, we will have a lot of projects to do. I am planning to keep this series going for quite some time, so why not? Now you know about Junkyard, this is a beautiful place, I love to come here and buy stuff. Let's go, do I want this for dollar? I want 78 for this one, I want to buy parts and we are going back. I would say this was a very good episode, we managed, uh, regardless of uh, the things, go to the level 40, uh, amazing, now we're slowly pushing towards level 50, but in the process, as you can see, if you're watching my videos, we uh, actually went to uh, now a little bit slower pace, and these are our cars, as you can see, everything that we have got. So we are doing slower pace, we are moving uh, a little bit uh, less with pushing uh, just repairs, but we are doing storyline jobs, let's see, do we have something nice? Nothing actually, not a single one. Storyline jobs and here and there we do a restoration. We unlocked everything, we will talk about that. And I would say, because we passed two hours, uh, this is it for today. Uh, you know, uh, if you like what I'm doing and what you're seeing on this channel, please uh, press that like button and of course subscribe if you don't mind, because it means a lot for the channel and you know, it's always nice to have a new friends here and people that like what we are doing. Uh, so have a great day, uh, stay safe please, uh, take care about your family, that is important, do something you love and enjoy life. I will see you in next episode really soon. Bye-bye. Please subscribe to this channel, share and like this video. Thank you.